What's up guys? Today we are going to look at the biggest celebrities playing the sport we all love, basketball. Where I gotta shoot from? You already know I had to start it off with one of the funniest guys on the internet, Kai Sinat. Kai Sinat has been going viral for playing against little kids. His content is hilarious. Kai has even been in the lab with C. Brickley. I see him in there working on the form shooting. But unfortunately, it did not translate to the Celebrity All-Star game. Kai had one shot made, one tweet at halftime, and one block. I'm already knowing he's coming back for revenge next year. When you're the biggest streamer in the world, you don't really need to play basketball. Drake's shot has come a long way in the last 10 years. Back when he airballed in 2014 for the Kentucky team, to now where he's shooting from way beyond the arc. He was in a pickup game with Justin Bieber and Quavo, and he held his own. I think it helps that he has his own gym in his house. Gilly the King from Million Dollars Worth of Game is pure entertainment on and off the court, but especially on. Just look at his face. But don't let that face fool you. He's a real hooper. They even call him Damian Giller. He's won a couple MVPs at the Big Three Celebrity All-Star Game. At a Philly game, they gave Meek Mill a chance to shoot from deep, and he did not disappoint. Just look at his face. He was happy about that one. Streamers Sketch and Jinxie were out there playing one-on-one. -on -one. Sketch's jump shot is exactly how you would think it would be. Right over the backboard. His cardio also wasn't quite there, and Jinxie took advantage of it. He blew right by him and got the easy lay. These boys are two of the biggest streamers in the world right now. Now y'all might not recognize the name Tahid Epps, but this is rapper 2 Chains. People said he was a 6'5 point guard. Memphis actually came calling because they were looking for a replacement for Penny Hardaway. But instead he went to Division I, Alabama State, and played there for a year before the rap game came calling. By the time this video is released, Odell Beckham Jr. might be playing for the Miami Dolphins. But did you know he had this crazy of a dunk package? This windmill is serious. Snoop Dogg is the definition of timeless. At 52, he's still throwing it down in some Chuck Pays. But I'm still kinda salty at Pete Davidson for saying that he looked like a retired WNBA player. How you gonna do unk like that? Now I was not familiar with Mr. Beast's basketball game. He's low key out there giving them boys buckets. I don't even know when he has time to train when he's in the midst of running the biggest YouTube channel in the world. A lot of people don't know, but he's actually six foot three. He's a decent player. I had to show y'all this epic clip from Ball is Life. They got DJ Khaled coming onto the court and putting on a show for the fans. Seattle Seahawks All-Pro wide receiver DK Metcalf should not have been on a basketball court. He was just too big and too strong for those boys. Pause. But in all seriousness, he was a freight train coming down the lane. There's not much that the three-time Super Bowl champ can't do, but Patrick Mahomes puts people in spin cycles. Back when he was in high school, he had multiple 40-point games. He may be the modern-day GOAT, but Tom Brady is the GOAT. He played pickup with Michael Jordan. Could you imagine just being a fly on the wall watching that game? I ain't done with the 90s. MJ still got game. So it's pretty well documented that Floyd Mayweather loves to hoop. I'm always wondering, when I see these celebrities play in these one-on-one -on -one games, how hard is that person really gonna try? 
For those that don't know, Floyd Mayweather is 50 and 0 in the boxing ring. You can tell Unk was kind of taking it easy on him. He didn't want to be his next victim. You man, I'm in the ends, like West London, yeah? I pulled up to my local basketball um, court and look. Bro, the Jack, that, that's, that's Adam Sandler. Look, bro, you don't think I'm messing? Look, British accent, I ain't playing, man's in the ends, London, Kensington Leisure Center. You will see Adam Sandler hooping anywhere and everywhere. You could be in your local LA fitness and Happy Gilmore pulls up. He just loves the game. Adam Sandler isn't the only comedian that hoops. Pete Davidson was in Las Vegas for a bachelor party and pulled up on the UNLV basketball team. And his game really surprised me. He was getting buckets. What they say is true. There is a difference between basketball player and hooper. Chris Brown is a hooper. You can tell the way that he moves, the game just comes natural to him. And I'm sorry, I have to do my boy NLE Choppa like this, but Chris Brown made him touch earth when he went behind the back. It rattled around, but it still went in. And out of respect, I have to follow it up with some NLE Choppa clips from when he was just a sophomore in high school. At 15, he was really nice, but at 16, he took his rap career serious. And that's when he gave up his hoop dreams. What y'all think about his push-up form? Houston Texans franchise quarterback C.J. Stroud was a problem in basketball. In these clips, he's playing against Jaime Jaquez from the Miami Heat. He dropped 28 points, including this deep three, to win the game. He's definitely one of the best basketball players in the NFL. There isn't a lot of footage on Lil Baby, but maybe those four pockets were weighing him down because he got knocked out after he missed the lay. Travis Scott has been at a lot of college basketball games lately, and he pulled up to the UNC basketball practice. You can tell Cactus Jack was locked in. Rapper Dave East is not lying in his music about his basketball career. This dude was legit. You can see Carmelo looking on as he works out in Chris Brickley's gym. Dave East played at Towson University in Maryland, but back in the day, he played on the same AAU team as Michael Beasley and Kevin Durant. Here he was listed as an all-city recruit. You can see Kevin Durant on the left. Quavo is definitely one of the best rapper hoopers out there. He won an NBA Celebrity All-Star Game MVP back in 2018. That high release is pretty tough to contest. When I'm playing pickup, Justin Bieber is the type of player I want. He facilitates out there and makes the right play. But he can also give you some buckets. Don't let the bleach haired fool you. Don't leave him open. Chicago is known for their point guards. Isaiah Thomas from the Pistons, Derrick Rose, and Tim Hardaway all come from Chicago. Lil Durk has some game. He's cooking the boy from Louisville, Jack Harlow, in this clip. Blow by. It's a certain type of creativity you play with when you grow up playing in the park. Durk can really hoop. Now people might get on me about this, but the best rapper hooper to me is J. Cole. All due respect to all the other celebrities, rappers, whatever you want to call it, none of them played pro. In between recording sessions, J. Cole was working on his game, and he did get buckets professionally as well. Little Dicky hit eight threes in a row and let you know about it the whole time. Where I gotta shoot from? Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.